Well, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Today we got to build a 6XC for a gentleman out of Texas. He's putting that on a tenacity action that he sent me. Uh, he also sent me a Bart line barrel. Um, pretty neat. Um, just off the internet and word of mouth and a couple YouTube videos and a couple Facebook videos how much work I'm getting in all over the country. I got to draw up the uh, CAD and CAM files for this action and then we'll chuck it up in the lathe and get her cut for them. Alright, I got her all drawn up on Fusion and how we did that is just took all the measurements off this from here because there's no recoil lug, it makes it pretty easy. And we just minus 10 thousandths from them for clearance. So everything is all dimensioned out per this blueprint that I drew up. All right, I got all my machine steps written up. I'm just going to do this by hand. The first thing we're going to do is drill. Then the next step is going to come through and we're going to take a roughing cut with the chamber. You can see it just goes back to front to pull all the chips out. After that's done, we do our outer tenon work. We go towards the barrel on the first one, then we come back and go away from the barrel. After that, we cut our threads. And the final step we're going to do is the reaming step. When the reamer goes in and out, I'm always worried about a chip getting in between the reamer and the barrel. So if I go all the way out with it, it's just like when you're doing it when you're flushing it, and then the lay they'll send it back in. So I haven't found nothing I have faith in um, to keep it from leaking. And pipe thread's been around a lot of years, so I think I'm just going to keep using it. And then if this screws in, we will be gold, which it will. All right, so we got it going here. We're going to turn on some coolant and dribble out so you don't get no heat build up. 5% rapid and cycle start. Tool 6. It'll go over and it'll start drilling 1.3 inches deep. All right, I'm going to do the roughing cycle here. All right, we got the tenon cut, looks good. Next thing we're gonna do is thread. So we'll turn on our coolant. So everything's all cleaned up and good to go. We got our action here. I'm gonna give it the old test fit. Ooh, almost dropped it. These threads are pretty precise. There we go. <clears throat> but it screws all the way up to the shoulder with no issues. And once it gets up there, you'll see no play. It's a nice tight fit. Everything's square to the bore. So the next thing we got to do is set up a reaming setup and ream it. All right, we got this <coughs> pilot here on the grizzly rod. I use that to test them, and it's pretty much a perfect fit. Very little free play whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and throw it on his reamer. We got this all indicated in, and uh, we'll start the reaming process. All right, we're going to start the reamer in really, really slow. We got it going 50 RPM. I'm going to go up to the shoulder until the shoulder passes this shoulder here. And that will get us within 50 thousandths of being finished. I'll set my Z and then it will start the cutting process. So we're going to go offsets, tool 12, Z face measure, 
So now this tool knows where it's at in relation to the world. We can back this out, push cycle start, and run our program. Speed it up a little bit. Should slow down. I'm trying a new cutting profile on this one. It goes in 50 thousandths and then backs up. It's going to take a little bit longer, but I kept on having issues with chips backing up in there. <clears throat> Even with the flush system. So now I'm going to go all the way out and retract after every 50 thousandths plunge, just like we do it when we're doing it by hand. So a 4,000 feeler gauge just barely fits in here. So we're going to take a five and a half thousandths off, a thousandths for crush, and a half thousandths for clearance. All right, we're up in the lands here. We got no run out. Life is good. It all depends on how fast you spin these if you've ever done it before. You can get a different reading each time if you spin it differently, but... You can see if I spin it slow in the same way, it bounces on zero. So we're going to come out. This is where the lead is. The rifling is getting cut away. Right here is the throat. We have no run out in the throat. So if we don't have no run out in the throat, we'll go to the shoulder. No run out in the shoulder. And to save everybody the suspense, we go all the way out to the very end. Clear out here, you can see in my finger, no run out there. So we have a perfectly concentric chamber to the bore of the rifle. Into our chamber inspection. This is at the end of the lands where the reamer quit cutting. We're going to spin that around. You can see everything is identical. We're going to start, whoop, wrong one here, Dustin. I'm going to go backwards to the lead. Here's a lead. Everything's identical there. Looking good. Then I'm going to go back. This is where it started cutting into the throat. Everything's identical. Here's the neck. And then here's the shoulder. Got to get some chips out of there. And then come all the way down here to the end. Everything turned out absolutely fabulous with this chamber. Super happy how it turned out. Here we're cutting our muzzle threads. We're setting all our tool offsets. This cutter is cutting our tenon for the muzzle threads. Next tool goes over and cuts our muzzle threads. That's what that one's doing. And then this one cuts our target crown at 11 degrees. Pretty slick setup. Well, I don't know how much of that we caught because I uh, pushed the wrong button on my camera. So let's give you an end of project tour. These defiance actions are beautiful. He was nervous about sending it to me and I understand. They are expensive. The barrel finished up nice, 6mm Mertz XC, he designed the reamer, so I put that on the barrel for him. Threaded it, 5 8 by 24, included a muzzle cap. The crown just turned out fabulous. I'll try and get it zoomed in here on it for us. Back up. But yeah, everything turned out glorious on this one. Hopefully, he's already talking about sending me more projects to do for him. But hope you guys enjoyed the build. And as always, thanks for stopping by and God bless.